Here's a couple of rich bitches. In the 70s and early 80s, Bernie Rico designed and built some of the highest quality electric guitars ever built. They used very high quality tone woods such as Hawaiian koa, mahogany, and bird's eye maple. They introduced radical body shapes, the first truly no heel neck design, two octave necks, onboard preamps, and more. Bernie was truly a man ahead of his time. The only weak spot, in my opinion, was the electronics that were available to him at the time. The musicians of the day preferred the DiMarzio pickups, which were very hot and were designed to distort. The shame of it was here was a quality instrument designed to resonate and built with high quality expensive tone woods that was adopted by the heavy metal musicians of the day, not for their woods, but for their radical shapes. In late 89, we acquired a large number of the unfinished body blanks, circa 7980. These body blanks were made in the original Los Angeles small little seven-man operation that Bernie owned. As near as we can tell, these instruments were all built before Bernie got involved with the people that spearheaded and ran the NJ series, Platinum series, and Rave series. We finished a lot of these instruments one by one with tender loving care, as you can see here. These custom BC riches were all made one by one, hand sanded, hand rubbed, and easily surpassing the finishing standards of their original counterparts. BC Rich got into a lot of trouble with national women's organizations in the 70s for their sexist ads and bitch poster. I wonder if we'll get into any trouble with these organizations from this video. I sincerely hope so. This is an American BC Rich guitar made in New Jersey and a lot of people who own these would rather have them look like they were the original BC Rich is made in California. This guitar started out almost identical to the white guitar I was just holding. And we added uh, rosewood rails, koa wings, notched out a ledge to put the extra four tuning machines to make a 10 string. And as you can see, we glued some pieces onto the headstock to change the style and shape of the headstock. And on this particular guitar, we added a rosewood head veneer and a bound ebony fingerboard with the cloud inlays. And this looks every bit of a Californian BC Rich bitch. We do a lot of headstock conversions. This is one that's in progress. We take the original headstock and chop it down on the bandsaw and then we glue blocks of wood to it so that we can shape it to whatever shape you'd like. We can do this to any guitar. We've converted Fender Telecasters into 12 strings. We can convert virtually any headstock into virtually any other headstock that you'd like. This is the most common headstock shape that we're asked to convert and most commonly we're asked to convert it to this. I told you we were BC Rich Central. This is a small sample of some of the original body blanks that we have left. Here are some close-ups of some body blanks after we've retopped and painted them. This is a finished mockingbird. It's ready to fly. Just look at this quilt on this one. This explorer is Honduras mahogany and eastern maple. And if you find any part of this video offensive or off-color, it really doesn't matter because you probably don't like BC Rich guitars anyway. <laughs>